So, I wasn't just wrong in my prediction, but instead, I was completely off. Cyrax was actually given a brand new Xbox Series S to everyone's surprise. So, you know what that means, we're going to talk about what happened in between the last Xbox video and today, as well as the Drift King title. But before we do anything, for all you parents out there, let me show you how to block Cyrax on Xbox Live real fast. And if you'd like to skip that, just click on the time I post here. Alright, this is how you block Cyrax on Xbox account. So, go into Friends and Settings. Go to Find Somebody. His name is PSY. R A X X and the number is going to be 7173. Click on the profile and go to block. Thanks for sticking around through that. When we last left off, Cyrax had just called the FBI on Marty and tried to trick him into admitting to intercepting the package while Cyrax secretly recorded it. Did you not sit there and fucking say that you were gonna intercept a package? That belongs to me, you fucking jerk wad. I don't recall. Oh, yes, you do. Don't play fucking soon. Matter of fact, oh, by the way, Nick, I fucking lied to you. I am recording. And, yeah, I, I, know. and I will be recording your fucking live stream where you fucking blackmailed me, you piece of shit. On February 16th, Cyrax sent a phishing link that he thought was an IP tracker to Marty and then tried to trick Marty into clicking on it. Cyrax swore to God and on his grandmother's life that it wasn't anything malicious. It's a long video, so I can't show the full thing, so let me cut it up for you. Well, hang on a second here. It's, it's, right, it's right there in front of the chat. Whoa, what's... Just, 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 just check it out now. Let me know what you think. Well, what's it of? It's an image I did earlier today that I created. And don't worry, it's nothing bad. You don't have to worry about being porn bomb. You have my word that it's not porn. It's actually a really cool texture style image that I wanted to know what you thought because I would see I've been seeing a lot of your stuff and I, I kind of see what you're getting out of stuff and I wanted to get your input on this to maybe work out a deal so just check out the image well, what, what kind of deal just, just check out the image and we'll talk about that in a minute you have my word I'm not coming out of you with some crazy shit bro just check it out believe me I I'd be more than happy to then do it this is well, my gift to you, as a peace treaty. Well, let's talk business before pleasure. Like, oh, no. Let, 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 let's just get the pleasure out of the way first, right? Quick. And then we, we, we can get to the business stuff in a minute. This is my peace offering to you. Okay. Well, I'm glad they brought up dancing because... Um, and I already know about the deal, man. I already know about it. We'll talk about that in a minute. Just check out the image, man. I mean, I'll be honest. My favorite form of art that you do is your dancing. Well, this might be something along those lines. So if you, if you so, check it out, you'll see. Just go ahead and check out the link, man. Just check it out. Man. Something along those lines. It looks like it's a JPEG. Yeah. So how could it's, it be of you dancing? It's a photo that I took that or one of my friends took a still shot of me doing that. So go ahead and just check it out. Just take a look at that. Come on, bro. Why do you want me to look at your image so badly? Well, because I thought a lot about what you said, and you were right. In a, in a lot of ways, you did help me. And I didn't see that before because I was clouded by a lot of the bullshit that was going on with Kendall and this and that and the other. And I wasn't really focusing in on the business side of things. A big thing of credibility is keeping your word. And if you're telling me and you're swearing on you your have life. My word. You have my word, dude. As a man, you have my word. If I'm lying, I'm dying. All right? But honestly, it looks like you are dying. So it will lead me no, to believe. I'm not, you. actually. You have, I, on, I you, have on, you, have, you have not honored your word as far as the dancing goes. You only did eight minutes and 37 seconds. Well, we'll, we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. Just check this out, man. So you want me to trust you? Yes. Hmm. How about you put, like, so you're saying you're going to give me an extra 30 minutes of dancing? Yep. All right. How about you put down, like, a, the first seven minutes, and I'll open the link. and then How you about this? It. How about this? You yeah. open the image. As you're opening it, I'll do the routine. As you're opening it, and you check it out. My, I would say, like, my mouse pointer thing, it's about uh, maybe... 
Look, I'll even give you one for free. How about that? Okay, I'll click it. I'll click it after. Marty was able to talk Cyrex into dancing for us again. I don't really like the music he picked, so let's add some turquoise death. Cyrex would keep trying to hype Marty up to click on the link before revealing that it was a ruse to get the Xbox back. I'm excited to see what you, the pig man himself, the big dog, the big kahuna, the big businessman, thinks about this image. Well, I mean, I just got to see, like, the live action of it. Oh, well? Oh, Joe Ryan. Okay. So just go ahead and check it out, man. Let me know what you think. Oh, wow, it's pretty cool, actually. What do you... Ha-ha, <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker, I got you, Nick. I actually didn't open it. Oh, but you did. No, I posted it in the chat. No, you checked it out. I definitely posted it in the chat. Mm-hmm. What do you mean you got me? I have all your info right here, boy. Okay, well then read it. So you, no, 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 here's how it's going to work. Yeah? If you don't lay your hands off the Xbox, yeah, I can easily send your IP address to the police. They will trace it back to you. And guess what? I, I, have, to, to I will have all your info. Which means yeah. I can press charges against you, Mark. Well, why don't you read to me where I'm at? I would imagine that there's a lot of clicks on it, actually. Why would I need to? Why there, I... Did, by any chance, are there a lot of clicks on it? Not really. I mean, oh, by the way, I do have all your trolls' infos as well, so they'll be taken down as well. Okay. So, Nick. We can do this one of two ways, all right? Because you're right. in no position to bargain right now, bro. You're in, you no, you're in no position to bargain. If well, you value your info... It's not my info. I didn't click it. Actually, it is, Nick. Oh, so where am I? You ought to find that out for yourself, won't you, fat boy? I'm using a VPN anyways. It don't matter. This goes right through the VPN and right to your IP address, bitch. Cyrax ended up saying that police were doing routines around his house in order to stop Marty from stealing the second Xbox, as opposed to him, Sally, and Ed waiting outside with baseball bats like he claimed before. I can have you arrested so fucking fast for intercepting a fucking package. That is federally illegal. I know you've got goons waiting outside my house waiting for that package. And guess what? If they show up here, the police have already been called and informed. They will be doing routine checkups around the clock to make sure that you don't get the package. So unless you want to be arrested for stealing a package, I suggest you fuck off. I really like this part. Cyrax started to act like he was a Bond villain, giving vague threats to Marty. Oh, oh, you just don't get it, do you, Marty? Well, I'm trying to understand. I see anybody suspicious. All I got to do is get their license plate number, and the cops just got to run their plates. That's all it is. Simple as that. Well, but yet, you know, but, yet, but yet, you're too stupid to understand that, are you, Marty? You too don't awesome. realize that I'm smarter than you. I have outsmarted you in every single way possible. You're just, you're just trying to look for a way out because you're desperate because I won't give you the shitty content that you don't deserve. You don't deserve me. You don't deserve the content that comes from me. The only thing you deserve is to be behind bars, rotting in prison like the piece of shit that you are. Well, so, I Nick, so, Nick, what's it going to be, fat ass? Are you going to step off or do I get to give the police, the info, and you conspiring to steal a package and have your accomplice 
arrested along with you for theft, which, mind you, is not just a legal matter. That is a federal matter. Cyrax would even try to bring up the bedsheet incident. You have actually tried to kill me. You remember, well, you, you remember me being shot at? I already know that you're the one that came up with Cyrax, that. That was a rat trap, dude. No, it was not. Like that was everybody saw what really happened. Yeah. Everybody saw the bullet holes. Everybody saw the video footage. I have full-on video proof of you attempting to murder me. Now, how do you think the police are going to take that when they find the bullet, which I will be digging out of my bed here in a couple of days? You, you haven't done that yet? What's stopping you? Dealing with your faggot ass. How long could it possibly take? So, so, Finally, the two of them would go at it again before Cyrix finally left the call. And like I said, I have the proof to back it up. So thanks for the info, you dumb fuck retard. Have okay. fun being a loser for the rest of your life. Have fun never playing an Xbox again. After Cyrix had left, Marty said on the stream that he would be more than willing to call the Akron police and admit to them about all the crimes that Cyrix has claimed he's done. Cyrax hearing this would come back to the stream. Marty would keep his word and get on a call with the Akron police with Cyrax watching live. Hey, Cyrax. Hello, Marty. So I hear that you are willing to confess to what you have done. Am I right? A thousand percent. Now, me, I, don't wanna, I don't want no motherfucking slick shit either, Marty. Yeah, this no, is it's, I'm looking up the number right now. I got, no, I got the number right here. Check your private chat. That's the number. Okay. Now, I don't want you fucking trying any slick shit because if you do, I got it on recording. No slick shit. Just call the fucking cop. Just call the damn PD like you said you were going to do. Let's get this over with because I got shit to do. One second. Akron Police and Fire. Hi, how are you doing tonight? Good, how are you? Well, um, pretty good. Um, somebody that I know, I guess, is informing me that I'm guilty of committing a crime and I'm trying to understand if they're right or not. If they're right, I want to come in and give a full confession. Okay, so um, this man's friend, I'm sure you're pretty well aware of him at this point. He's a known 43. Um, somebody who, out of the kindness of their heart wanted to send him an Xbox. I informed this guy of his misdeeds. Oh, see, there you go, Mark. Uh, so here he is talking here. This guy's insane. You're well aware of him, I'm sure. Actually, but, no, I'm not insane. Uh, he, he keeps talking here. Um, but I basically told this guy about... Hey, Marty, why are you lying at you? Um, and he decided to put an intercept on the package and have it rerouted back to him. Um, is anything about that illegal? Did he pay for the product? Yeah, he purchased the product and he paid for the shipping and then found out uh, about... Chance Wilkins, like the local 43, and then he's like, you know what? I don't think this guy deserves it, and I'm going to have it rerouted back to me. Actually, no, you're having it rerouted to you, Marty. Tell the truth. There you go, fucking lying, Marty. I mean, I don't think there's anything illegal about it, but he's trying to convince me that there is, and I just Actually, think there is. If you oh, fuck yeah. with a federal package after it reaches its destination, that is illegal. Yes. I mean, it'd, it'd be different if, if Chance paid for the item mm -hmm. and the person intercepted the routing. Well, yeah, I didn't. It's funny because I didn't even say his name, but you know who I'm talking about when I say 43. You did say his name, though. So. Okay. Well, maybe I did then. Okay. Well, fair enough. I was just wondering how familiar you are with him. But yeah, so oh, if you show sure him, Marty. Chance. When Cyrax didn't hear the operator say what he wanted to hear, he left the call. And then decided, you know what, this guy's like a known creep pedo. Uh, and I don't think you should have it anymore. Then I didn't do anything wrong there, right? No. Soon after, Marty was cleared of all charges and would hang up the phone. Thank you so much. I, I'm glad you could clear that up. Like, this this guy, he's, he's insane. I, I don't know how, I don't know if like everyone there is the prize of him, this Chance Wilkins guy. Soon, Cyrax would once again call Marty. Want to up a track? Hey, Cyrax, what's going on? Uh, you may as well check Cyrax, the why are you swearing on your whole family's life on a lie? You've done worse, Marty. Way have worse. I? Have I? Oh, you have. 
what threatening the murder, threatening to rape and murder my family, threatening to annihilate Michael's family. I and let's, and and let's, not, forget, and let's not forget trying to kill me or have somebody kill me while I was on live stream. So trust me, I say, Nick, you've done way, way worse. Fuck. You just you swore on your whole family's you life on a lie. Fuck, you're doing anymore. Swore on your whole family's life on a lie. What kind of piece of shit does that? <laughs> what kind of piece of shit tries to intercept the package just for laughs and giggles? Oh, wait, you dumb fuck. What do you think is worse? What do you think is worse? What do you think is worse? Intercepting a package or threatening to Intercepting kill? a package, clearly, because in case so, you've not filled so, it. So threatening to kill kids. Is man, 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 shut bad. the fuck up. Yeah, well, I would say that shut threatening your to kill fucking kids bitch ass is up. worse. Shut your so faggot bitch ass up, Nick. You're wow. mad because I got your little cronies on fucking lockdown, bitch. You're fucking mad because I'm not your fucking puppet. You're mad that I'm actually fighting back. And I'm actually thinking... You're not my puppet. Yeah, when, when I pull your strings, you dance. I would say that you are no, my puppet. No, no, no. See? Yeah, see, yeah, yeah. See, yeah. Yeah, see yeah, I yeah. wanted you to think that I'm your puppet. You want to know why? I wanted you to think that I was your puppet. This is exactly why right here. I okay. got you right where I fucking want you. Which is okay. where? Where? Well, let's see. If you don't cut the crap, your ass will be fucking heading to prison within a fucking week easily, boy. For what? Intercepting a package, and you can't tell the me that police, the police just said that it was Fuck perfectly the legal. Cops, they don't know shit. Marty, after playing a little Oliver Twist, would often call the FBI and ask them the same questions he just asked the Akron police. But this time, Syax would have nothing of it. No, sir. You're actually losing, dumbass. No, sir. <laughs> what makes you think you're winning? Can I answer, sir? Fire away, fucktard. Okay. Okay. Because the crimes that you've accused me of were just cleared as perfectly legal by the actor. Nope. Police. Wrong answer. Did you hear <clears throat> them for yourself, sir? <clears throat> e-break. Back up. Rewind. Rip the e-break. Back up. Hold up. Okay. What you don't get, sure. Marty, is this. Like I said, what you're doing goes above their pay grade. And mm -hmm. it also happens to be and your little cronies also happen to be involved. So here's how it's going to work. If you don't back your little cronies off and get them to fuck off. And anyway, here's another thing you don't realize. Not only yes, will they be going to jail, you'll be going to jail. And if you don't tell your little friends that you're going to have around here to fuck off, all I got to do is get a picture of their license plate, have the cops run it, and guess what? They'll be arrested for intercepting a package illegally, dumbass. So trust me when I say, Marty, I'm not the one to fuck with, boy. I'm really not. You're a well, fucking fat dumbass. Would not you like me to confess to the FBI, sir? What I'd like you to do is fuck off and tell your little cronies to fuck off as well, bitch, mate. So get a life and have a nice action now. Sir, I'm willing to confess to the FBI right now if you'll stick around for the call. Yeah, Otherwise, I'm not going to do here's it. Here's the thing, dude. Yeah. Yeah, they're not open this time. And I dumbass. So, okay. by the way, I don't call the FBI, sir, so I wouldn't know that, sir. Then, on February 17th, Sox announced that he had acquired a new Xbox. It's been a long time coming, Marty. All these years of you running your mouth. Well, you can't run your mouth no more, can you, boy? Because guess what's in? Boom, motherfucker. Xbox Series S ready to fucking go. Ready to fucking rock. Right fucking there. Cyrus would then go on to call himself the DK, a reference to the Drift King from Tokyo Drift, and challenge Marty to a race in Forza Horizon 5. So Marty, you want to fucking go? You want to talk a big game, boy? You want to talk a big game about how you're the DK? You're talking to the DK. You're talking 
to one of the best. So, Marty, time to put up, bitch. Time for you to fucking put up and stop running your mouth. Because all you've done is run and hide like a bitch. You want to face me? Forza Horizon 5, Assetto Corsa, it don't fucking matter. Hell, I'll even destroy you in Asphalt 9 Legends. Let's fucking go, dude. Cyrax thanked a person named Danny with an I who bought him the Xbox and left Marty with a message. So, yo, shout out to my motherfucking boy, Danny, man. I appreciate what you did, dog. 100% thank you for the hookup, big dog. Absolutely appreciate it, brother. I appreciate what you did for me, dude, for real. Actually, no, it ain't, bro. It's straight from Amazon. $200 plus. $200 plus, boy. So, get out of here missing with that garbage. Hey, Marty. Before we face off, there's one rule you gotta remember. Run your car, not your mouth. I'll see you on the track, Marty. Oh, and when I beat you, don't whine like a bitch. On February 18th, Sark streamed Fortnite on his Xbox, where he actually filmed his TV screen DSP style with his webcam. I don't know what's wrong. I gotta send the ticker or something right quick. No, that being said, now let's jump right into As you can see, we're rocking a brand new character. I just wanted to say this real fast. Cyrax could stream his Xbox game to his PC, or get a $15 capture card if he wanted to bring his quality to at least unregistered Hypercam 2 levels. We did get to see something interesting though. Cyrax has 200 V-Bucks on his account and is playing as a character named Sylvie. This skin can only be acquired by paying $12 for the Fortnite Crew monthly subscription. Cyrax might be poor and have no job, but if he has this many characters and subscribed to Fortnite this month, odds are that he's been subscribed to it for a while. Meaning that Cyrax can afford a cheap capture card. Let's check out some of this gameplay. You can't even see certain colors, it's just a blurry mess, and if you told me that this was 2013 Fortnite alpha footage, I would believe you. Now you guys have any info on like, what this heat level thing is, let me know. Oh man, we gotta go dead ball on these motherfuckers, man, let's go. Gotta do some dual wielding, boy. All right, here. One of my other favorite parts is that we actually get to see Cyrax fantasizing that it was Marty and MF Goon that he killed in the game. Another William down for the count. Oh, was that Marty? I can not tell. Or maybe that was MF Goon. I couldn't really tell because of the face. I'd love to show more clips from that stream, but I couldn't sit through any more of it. On the same day, William Gloryhole would announce that the Xbox's cost was supposed to be split between Sally and this Danny person, but at the last minute, Sally refused to pay her half of the money, scamming the person that was helping them. Marty would then do a stream called Will Cyrax Back Out Like Always. Marty talked about his worries that Cyrax would back out and gave his understandable reasons as to why. Three things will happen here. Either he will outright duck me, uh, he's came up with like a myriad of excuses for why he couldn't race in the past. Um, one of them was, it was like maybe two weeks after one of Ed's overdoses and he needed to tend to him. Um, I think he even used the excuse of having cancer once. Oh, by the way, I gotta give a shout to, uh, to Big Boss. Thank you very much for the cash app, sir. Um, uh, I do greatly appreciate it. Um... Yeah, he's came up with literally every excuse in the book for why he can't race. Um, he's called me a murderer to get out of race wars. Like, he said he wouldn't work with a murderer, which, you know, okay, well, all right. Um, that's novel. That's a very interesting one. Um, but, like, back in the past, he had this guy named Cam Time Racing who he, he just dusted him every time they faced. And... Uh, Finally, after like years of buildup, he finally raced camp time twice. And um, needless to say, he lost both times. Like the first time, literally like two or three seconds into the race, 
Well, before that, he said his internet was wonky. He's like, shit. Well, guys, uh, I guess my internet's being weird here and it's not working, so we're just going to have to reset this. And we'll try to do the same thing. We'll try to do the same thing, guarantee it. Um, so he'll either duck me completely, he'll make an excuse and say his internet isn't working, or he'll accuse me of cheating, but he'll never face me. And if he doesn't face me, then he just knows that he sucks. On February 19th, Cyrex did another stream called Music Biz Marty, You're a Slave to Your Own Creation. And Cyrex actually made the wild claim that the Hell's Angels went to Marty's door and told him to leave Cyrex alone. Hey, you know what's funny about you, Marty? The reason why you're scared is for one simple reason. There's one reason why you're mad and why you're fucking scared. There's one reason why you're afraid of me. Because you know damn well a couple weeks ago, the Hell's Angels came knocking on your fucking doorstep and gave you a warning to fuck off and leave me alone. Hell's Angels came knocking on your fucking doorstep telling you to fuck off. The reason why you're doing this shit is because you're fucking scared. You're a bitch. A fucking coward. I want to tell you right now, Marty. You keep playing this dangerous you keep playing this dangerous ass game, bro, you're gonna get hurt. And the same thing goes for every single one of you motherfucking trolls, man. Y'all are fucking toying with life and death here. This shit ain't no game. This is real fucking life that y'all are dealing with, bro. This is real fucking shit, dude. Cyrex would actually admit to all of his crimes and make some wild accusations about the things that Marty has done. Sure, I may have threatened to kill you. I may have threatened to come after your family. I may have threatened to come after your girlfriend and her family. But take a look at the shit that you did, motherfucker. You threatened to kill my family. Threatened to rape my family. Threatened to annihilate my friend Michael's family. Put me in the hospital twice. Put my friend Michael's wife in the hospital. Tried to fucking commit murder on me. And now you're trying to have motherfuckers send poisonous food to my house that could kill me. So really? Do you really think I ain't got the right to say shit back? Because clearly I fucking do. After all that, Cyrix started another one of his 3am concerts. If you watch the chat, it's all tomatoes. Shout out to Imperish on this one, man. Zone finger in the face of terror and terror and soul of the dirt and play. Each horizon is a new... On February 20th, Marty did a stream called Cyrax is Chickening Out of the F1 Challenge and got a call from old Cyrax saying that since he's living in Fallout, Ohio, he might not be able to race Marty even after playing Hot Wheels Unleashed for 12 hours straight. Oh, wow. Hey, Cyrax. Marty, listen here, you dumb fuck. You seriously yeah. need to cut the fucking crap, dude. What do you One, mean? you don't always win, you fat Jewish little bitch. And oh, yeah. two, you need to cut the fucking crap, dude. Because let me tell you right now, Marty, there's a lot more serious shit than your fucking bullshit ass channel. Have you, have you not been paying attention to the news? The of train? Have, I know. have I know. you not been paying attention to the No, the train. News? The Shut train. the fuck up, you fat ass. Yeah, I know about have the you train. not been paying attention? The to how Ohio's on the verge of becoming know, Chernobyl, you fat little fucking bitch. Why are you so fired up? Because you're a crackheaded fuck boy that ain't paying attention to reality, you delusional fuck. This is my just a state, my fucking state is on the verge of becoming Chernobyl because of some dumbass fucking cop. And you're worrying about this? This is just a diversion. You, dude. This is a fuck diversion. You. Fuck you, you little bitch, man. You just don't want to race. You. You just don't want to race. You. Fuck you. Okay. You, are you just don't want to race. Admit it. Who's your fat ass? You're just like Candle. You're a little bitch made asshole that ain't gonna do nothing. What does you're this have to do with the race? Dude, your content is garbage, you fat fucking tub of shit. Why are you so mad at You today? are nothing more than a little fucking asshole that's going nowhere. You're uh, a little bitch, Marty. You're a fucking slave to your own design. What does that mean? You don't run the trolls. They run you. Okay. They run you. Your little crash test dummies, you don't run them no more 
They run you. What does that mean? They run you, Marty. What does that you mean? You do not own them. They own you just like I own you. What does that mean? You fuck you, dude. Oh, what does that mean? Well, let's see. You're doing everything they want you to do. Okay. You're not doing what you want to do. You're doing what they want you to. I'm sorry, I'm I get compensated very well. I'm not doing well. what they want me to do, fat ass. Maybe if you cut the drama and open up your fucking eyes, maybe then you'll fucking realize what's going on in the real fucking world, bro. So You're yeah. too glued in to your bullshit ass screens, bro. You're too fucking glued in to the bullshit ass internet, bro. Ohio is on the fucking verge of the like Chernobyl, and you're doing this? Really? Really? You just don't want to write. state is on the verge of being destroyed for hundreds of years, and you're doing what? Up here running your mouth like a filthy ass pig? You dumb fuck. You, you this fucking right? retarded idiot. You're a fucking moron. You're, a you're an idiot, bro. Wake yeah. the fuck up. Wake the fuck race. up and stop living in delusion land. You just don't want to race. Land, Admit it. This is reality, bitch. You just don't want to race. Marty land. This is reality. Wake the fuck up, <laughs> you fat fucking piece of shit. Lyle's fine. I honestly can't blame Cyrax for thinking this. I mean, Akron is pretty close to the pit. It's called the pit. See that bell up there? Cyrax would remind Marty that the Hell's Angels went to Marty's home to tell him to leave Cyrax alone. You know damn good and well that the Hell's Angels did show up at your Okay, so let me ask you something then. Let me ask you something. Uh, no, no, shut if they showed up here, why don't you ask the Hell's Angels where I am then? Why would you need an IP grabber? Because that ain't on me. Whatever they do, that's yeah. on them. I yeah. have no control over what they do. Yeah, that they ain't on me. That's never on them. Here. They were never here. Oh, yes, they were. You can't no, lie to these people. They definitely you can weren't. lie to these people, Marty. But you can't lie oh, to okay. me. You can't lie to me. I know what the fuck is. Sorry, you said you got footage of them coming over here. Where is it? I did not fucking say that, you yes, fucking you did, ignorant dumbass. You definitely did. Marty, wake your retarded, fat, lazy, bitch ass up, bro. Wake the fuck up and stop living in delusion land, bro. Stop You're living the in a world. false reality. You're living in a false reality, Nick. Right, you played Hot Wheels for 12 hours yesterday. Nick. You're living in goddamn fantasy land, you dumbass. Cyrax would go back to saying why he couldn't race, and Marty would offer some good counters until Cyrax rage quit. You threatened to annihilate Michael's family. You're scared, Cyrax. You tried to have me murdered. Fuck your goddamn race, dude. You're, this you're is scared. real wow. fucking life shit that could affect all of us. So if you can play Hot Wheels for 12 hours yesterday. you as well, Nick. If you can play Hot Wheels for 12 hours yesterday, why can't you raise your half hour on Wednesday? Sit down and shut your bitch ass up, boy. You're all You're all Shut the fuck up, you fag. You're pathetic. Shut your goddamn bitch ass, lying ass. You make me sick. psycho ass up, you fat fucking pig. You don't get it, do you, Nick? You still don't get it. Uh, the shit that's going on here in Ohio can affect all of the U.S., so, including you. Yeah, so how can you do 12 hours? Like you wouldn't understand that, would you? You, can, you, can, you don't yeah. fucking pay attention because you're up in la-la retard land while yeah. I'm living in motherfucking reality. Now, if you'll excuse me, yeah, I have no fucking shit to take care you of. Forfeit. You so forfeit. fucking prepare you Just in case I don't fucking make it. You forfeit. No, I Yeah, don't. you do. Yeah, I you do. Kiss my ass, baby. Yeah, man. look at this baby boy. Look at this little coward. Wow. How pathetic is that? How pathetic is that? And of course, Cyrus would call back in yet again. I would agree. I would agree with that. Hi, Cyrus. Have you clued in yet, fucking dumbass? What do you mean? Cut the video out and let's fucking talk. Okay, great. Why don't you fucking watch the news, man? 
pull the fucking videos up of what's going on in here in Ohio, dude. Okay. So, what, what, what you don't get is yeah. this, Nick. The shit going on here ain't just going to affect here. It's going to affect you. It's going to affect everyone. That's okay, what you so, don't see. That's what you don't here's see. What you don't got. Shit, dude. Here's no, what you don't got. Dude, no, I get everything. Got. You're, I know, you're, you're, you're still, still playing video games, games though. You're, you're so pathetic, me. dude. You're <laughs> fucking pathetic, dude. Why won't you play me? Because you're fucking pathetic, and there's more important things than some stupid video yeah, games. Yeah, you still play video games. You still play dude, video games, so why not dude, play me? There's, there's shit more important than that going on right now, yeah, Mark. You still play video more. games. Shut the fuck up. You still dude, play the shut game. Shut the fuck up. So why not play me? Shut the fuck up, Nick. You're so weak. Shut That's your so fucking weird. bitch ass up. You were dude. just on Xbox. No, you you know what's sad, dude? You know what's sad you about You were just you? on Xbox, though. No, you know, you know what's sad about you? You are just playing Need for Speed. I Why would you challenge me to race the fuck alone up, and dude. then back out? Shut the fuck up, you Why are you backing out? Child? Why are you Shut backing out? Shut the fuck up, man, child. Why are you backing out? Shut up, man, child. Okay. Says a guy who plays Hot Wheels. Says, says a guy who don't there. pay attention to the fucking news, Marty. Wake the fuck up. The reality is the world is on the cusp of being done. Ohio is on the verge of becoming Chernobyl, which could affect all of the U.S., but you don't give a fuck about that, do you? No. You only give a fuck about money and doing this and doing that. All you care about is Hot Wheels. All you care about is Hot Wheels. Wake the fuck up, dude. Wake so, the fuck so do you forfeit? up. Shut do you forfeit? your mouth. Do you I'm not forfeiting nothing. We can pick this back up at a later fucking date. On Wednesday but night. The reality is, Nick. On Wednesday night. The reality night. is, what's going on here in Ohio is going to affect us all. So how does it affect the race? You don't shut the fuck up. How does it affect the race? Fuck up and fucking get ready. Your ass is gonna be the first to go. I know where your bug out shelter is. No, you fucking don't, you dumbass. You have no fucking clue, nigga. You don't know where it's at because there's there's nowhere here in Ohio, boy. I'll tell you that right now. I'm aware of that. I'm aware of that. It's just out of state. No, it's not. No, you got got four trailers welded together. You are so fucking off base that it's fucking funny, dude. Okay. It really um, is. You honestly don't fucking know, and you're not going to know. Yeah, Shut so up, you don't. Why won't you face me? Up. Why won't you face me? Because you're a fucking joke. Wow. You really are a fucking joke. Wow. You really are. And you want to know something, Marty? The Just joke the is... Fuck. The joke no, is, the joke you is call me out the race you. Bitch. The joke you call is, me out the race you. Without me. And the then, when is, I get the, the Xbox, you. you don't the want to race me anymore. The joke, you are the joke. You challenged me. Your channel is a You challenged me. Show. You challenged Shut me. Shut faggot bitch made ass up. You challenged me. And I slap that goddamn Yamka off your damn head and make you eat that shit. So bitch. why challenge me if you're going to back out at the end? Hey. Why fucking run your mouth when you got real shit to be doing like that? Run run your car, not your mouth, Cyrax. And there he goes. Run your mouth, not your car. Cyrax called up for a third time saying that he races to keep the name of his brother alive and a bunch of other nonsense before hanging up. Oh, wow. Here he is again. Mark, if you want real fucking proof about what's really going on, there's your fucking proof in the private chat that was posted on the news a few days ago. And just for the record, Marty... The difference between me and you is this. I race for a purpose. What's you the purpose? To keep my brother's memory alive. But you don't, race, you don't race with a purpose. You yeah, race for, no, Why do you, you challenge don't. me then? Why challenge no, no, you don't. You so, want to know how I know you don't race? So why challenge me then? And then when I get it, you back out the last second. It's you know what's sad about you, Marty? You're a yeah. slave to your own fucking creation. I've heard you say that a lot. And it's true. You okay. don't control the trolls. The trolls control you. Look at you. Doing whatever they want. I thought you were the king of the trolls, Nick. What happened? Well, I do whatever I want, Cyrax. And I like playing around with you. And I like getting paid for it. I like both those things. So what's the problem? Right. Right. You do whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Sure, Marty. I do. Sure you do, Marty. Sure I do. Sure you do. Who, who tells me what to do? Answer that one. That's easy. The fucking trolls do. Sorry, Rex. I've been doing the same thing for the past few years. 
So what makes you think that I'm doing it for anyone but my own enjoyment? Don't lie. Don't lie. No, you're not. You're not going to wake the fuck up. If you win, crap, I'll then give get money. The fuck out of here because you're not worth my time, bitch, mate. Yeah, you're going to go and play some racing games. He's so pathetic. He's so pathetic. Uh, he's blaming the explosions. Yeah. It's, it's really bizarre. He's just a coward. That's all that he is. He's a little boy. He's just a little boy. Cyrix called up a fourth time to tell Marty that he hasn't earned the right to face off against the legendary street racer Cyrax himself. Hey, hey Marty, why don't you get the video for a second, man? Well, we're just enjoying you want, it. You're watching, you're not, no, no, no. Shut, shut your fucking talentless guy up for a second. Cut the fucking video, dude. This guy is you, you, you want to know something, dude? The, yeah. One of the main reasons why I won't face you, not because I'm a chicken shit or a coward, That's but exactly because it. you haven't earned the right to face me, dude. You challenge me. You have to, to earn that shit, bro. You me. I, I want to know best, and you have to earn it, bro. No. To face the best, you me. And, you're you know, in order to face the best, you gotta be the best. But and homie, right. and homie, you're far from the best. You ain't even on my level. Well, then you, then you, then you should I've, be. Been, I've beaten the legendary razors like slap. Sorry, Rex, you offered me a challenge. I'm accepting. Now you're making excuses. Just run your car, not your mouth, little bitch. The, 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 the thing about you, Marty, is run your car, not your mouth. Shut your mouth. You haven't earned the right to face me, boy. You have to earn that shit. And when I see you do, no, when I, no, I want to, here's the only way I am ever going to face you is if I see you doing good. I see you winning a few races and I see you doing good and holding your own. Maybe, Why don't you just run your car? Maybe you'll stand a shot at the king. Maybe then. You're not the king, we'll though. You're not the king. You're not the king. Marty, you don't get it. You can't just walk in. And take no, my crown. You like me, man. You ain't you just gonna me, walk man. in and take my crown like that, dude. I am one of the top racers no, in not. the world, bro. All right. No, and, and in order to face me, bro, you gotta earn that shit, boy. You think uh, I'm just gonna let you race for the crown? Nah, not no, right off. Right 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 so Marty, I'll make you a deal, man. You start earning your key. You start doing good, and I will be paying attention. You start out, and you post shit every day. Already. You post shit every day, and I see you winning some races here and there. Then I'll face you. You're not a racer. You're a fraud. No, I'm not. The yeah. only fraud here is you. Well, I've you earned my I spot. I my car, not Marty, my money. What you don't get is this. I've earned my spot. I've earned my respect. No, you haven't. I've earned the right to do what I want when I want. You haven't done jack fucking shit, okay? I've been doing this since I was 13, motherfucker. You've been doing this shit for a day. Let me tell you right now, bro. In order to face me, one of the best, you got to fucking earn that shit. So if I were you, if I were you, bro, I'd get on it and I'd fucking earn that shit. Because I've earned the right to be called one of the best. You have it. So I'm get out there and start working your ass off and maybe you'll stand in shot. I'm shop. already better than you, dude. On February 21st, Cyrex did a stream called I'm Sick of the Bitching and Fighting, where Cyrex claimed to be doing freelance car photography in Hot Wheels. I'm not even joking. I'm working on an album. I'm doing freelance in-game car photography through motherfucking Need for Speed Unbound and Hot Wheels Unleashed. I'm out here actually doing shit and getting paid and doing my fucking job. And yet, to you guys, would I do any job, but yet... Every time I do something, I get paid between 50 to 100 bucks per fucking thing that I do. I can take 10 photos right now and sell them to my boy Michael for almost 100 bucks easily, bar none. And yet, I don't fucking work, right? I'm out here busting my ass, chasing my motherfucking dreams, doing shit that I want to fucking do. But yet, I don't work, right? Cyrax would once again use the train derailment as an excuse not to race Marty. And you know what's sad about you, Marty, is this, man. This is what's sad about you, Marty. You're so fucking fixated in your own fucking head and you believe your own bullshit lies. 
Like you literally believe your own fucking bullshit that you can't see what's going on in the world around you, bro. I mean, you can sit there and say that you won this, you won that. That's fine. Believe whatever you want. Believe whatever you want to believe. But the reason why I'm not fucking facing you ain't because I'm a coward. It ain't because I'm a punk ass bitch. On any given day, I would face your ass. I really would. But when I heard about what's going on in my state and what's truly going on, I wasn't just going to sit around and waste my motherfucking time, bro. I wasn't about to do that. And you want to know why? Because my state is on the verge of becoming the U.S.'s version of Chernobyl, dude. Sarx then apparently changed his mind and said he wouldn't race Marty unless he got psychological help. Get fucking help. Seriously, get fucking help. Maybe then, if you get help and you fucking earn your spot, then I'll face you. I will not face you, Marty, until you show me that you're doing good. When you're in the right headspace, then I'll face you. Right now, you're not in the right headspace, and you need fucking help. The only way I will race you, Marty, is if you get help. That is the only way I will face you, Nick, is if you get fucking help. That's the only way I will race you, is if you get mental help, because you need it. So, Marty, good luck to you. Honestly, I hope you get the help that you need, man. I really do. Sorry about this, guys, but I'm going to have to cut the video here because if I don't, it would be an hour and a half long. But don't worry, the rest of the video is fully edited, so part two will be up real fast. Stay tuned for Cyrax claiming that he knows Marty's real name, his family, and exclusive content from Marty's privated stream, The Drift King Has Risen. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you soon.